the Facebook Pixel sends data between the website and Facebook servers using your client's browser. This works fine most of the time, but sometimes there are problems. Ad blockers, privacy settings, JavaScript errors, and sometimes even your WordPress, WordPress cache can create problems. But now there is a new option that Facebook has. We can send pixel events directly from the server that you have to Facebook servers. It's called server to server events. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure server to server events for WooCommerce using Pixel Your Site. Server side events help you overcome browser's limitation and they bypass ad blockers. They will improve your Facebook ads conversion tracking and your purchase custom audiences and lookalikes. You need three things. Number one, a Facebook app. Two, an access token. Three, add the access token inside Pixel Your Site. Let's start with step one, how to create the Facebook app. Under this video, you have a direct link to your business settings page. Click on accounts, apps, and you will land on this screen. Click on this button, add, create a new app. Give it a name. Create. I'm not a robot. There are two more things you need to do. Go to settings, basic. And you have to add your privacy policy URL here. I have it ready. Okay, and the second thing, you have to choose a category for your app. Business and pages will do just fine. Save. And now you can turn the app live. Switch mode. Okay, the app is ready. Back to our list. We have to move to the step two, create the access token. Again, under the video, you have a direct link to your Facebook Pixel Events Manager. It's right here. I have it open. Uh, you click on the um, pixel you want to use. You go to settings. Scroll down and look for event setup. No, not event setup. Server side API for web. You click on create access token. And there are a few steps. You select a pixel. You select the app. I have two, you will probably have just one. I will select the one that I just created. You have to select the system user. If you don't have one already, you will have to cre create a system user. I have one ready. And generate access token. Now, click to copy. We continue to step three, add the token inside Pixel Your Site. So open, pixel, op open your WordPress dashboard, go to Pixel Your Site and turn this on, paste the token and save your settings. This should be it. Now, you have 
uh, the option, the possibility to test your server-side events. To do so, you must go back to your events manager, test events, go to server and copy this text code. Go back to pixel your site and add the code here. You can see we have test event code uh, field. Save again. And now you have to do a test transaction. Better to refresh the page. Add to cart, view cart. Proceed to checkout. Basically place order. As you can see, we have the browser event working normally, but we also have this. Sorry, it's right here. Okay, we have the purchase event uh, working. And you can see its parameters, everything. So now you know that it's working. One thing I want to show you is this event ID parameter. You see it's a number right here and you have it on the server side event as well. This is it. This helps Facebook to record the event only once. So you'll not have two transactions reported instead of one. You will have just one. So this is how you can configure server-to-server -server events for WooCommerce. It's very easy, just a few clicks. Be careful when you uh, add the app, make sure you add the privacy URL that you, get, that you select uh, a category for the app and don't forget to turn it on. So go live. That's about everything. Good luck with your Facebook ads.